Hello everyone, I'm Laudas, and I'm bringing you here Loretta for PC. So the game came out today. Uh, today? Yes, today. And it's developed by Yakov Butsov and published by Dangan Entertainment. So I played the demo of this game. It looked interesting. Uh, so, of course, I wanted to check out the full game. Ending G these chapters, and then you can go and check everything. I don't know how many chapters it is. So, let us start. Old space to confirm. I will old space. Color mode or noir mode? Recommended for those who already completed the game. Some visual hints disappear. Puzzles become harder to solve. Oh shit. We go for color mode then. The game events take place in the United States of America in 1947. To reflect to reflect reality of that type of that contains subject matter that so may find offensive. Alright. So, in America, 1947. Keep on over here. Hold space to skip. I think it's a cutscene, I don't think you should skip, right? Oh, this is to show uh, the, the cre like credits, show who made the game and everything. Okay. Okay. It only shows who created the game. That was two people. Yakov puts off it what he says on Steam page. My name is Loretta Luaris. French call me Laura. I'm 48 years old. I was born in a small town in South that we'll probably never heard of. The moment I turned 16, I ran away to the East Coast. I'm an unemployed ornithologist and a, a mediocre housewife. A few months ago, my husband and I moved to a farm that he got from his parents. Life here ain't exactly simple, but we get by all the same. Up until two weeks ago anyway, when Walter up when Walter up and disappeared without a trace. You know what it is, it's fucking aliens. Get the fuck out of there immediately. Solve the game. Aliens. Miss Saris, I'm Frank Chambers. I'm looking for your husband. You from the police? Now I already talk to the sheriff. I ain't got nothing more to say. No, ma'am. I'm leading a private investigation. There are some people from New York, important people, who really like to have a war with Mr. Iris. Well, tell them to get in line. Who are these important people? People Mr. Iris still needs to pay. Mind if I come in? He wipes his neck with a handkerchief. You got a, a very lovely house, ma'am. Don't bother. I can't stand this place either. Is this Mr. Harry's house? His parents. You're not from around here, are you? Or New York, for that matter. Don't test my hospitality. Sorry, didn't mean to offend. I'm paid to ask questions, you know. But my only concern is Mr. Harry's. Mainly, I need to know if he's alive or dead. This thing uh, gets on my nerves. Sometimes it feels like I can hear it ticking from all the way in the bedroom. Walter said he bought it in New York. Ma'am, how long has Mr. Iris been gone for? Who hired you? Why don't you start off by telling me? Who it was that hired you? <clears throat> of course. I work for a farm called Wallace and Partners. I represent the interests of Mr. Wallace. Here's my card. Okay. Your husband owes Mr. Wallace a substantial sum of money, ma'am. Did Mr. Harris mention anything about that to you? I reckon your service costs a lot more than that. Ha, <laughs> I don't charge that much. I don't. Phew. Beads of sweat fall from Chambers' face onto his wrinkled shirt. Can I get you something to drink? The kitchen's just down the hall. Hmm? 
I done lost count how many times I asked Walt to, to throw this nasty old thing away. <gasps> You're not gonna answer that? It only uh, ringing now. Calm down, dude. Hello? Hello? Can I talk to Mr. Iris, please? May I ask who's calling? This Patrick Fitzgerald from the Atlantic Press Publishing House. Will you kindly put Mr. Iris on the phone? It's extremely urgent. Mr. Iris ain't available. He ain't here. Well, what time will be back? Miss? This is about this book. We are still waiting for him to send the second half. The contract are ready, but... Miss, could you please pass? They hung up. It happens sometimes. Well, it's not here. Freight lemonade is all I can offer. Just water will be fine with me, ma'am. I'm a tad parched from that long drive. There's a real nice almond smell in here. Sorry. An April furniture catalog. It's got all a Nuka family could need. How are things with the novel? Did Mr. Harry finish it? Is Mr. Wallace interested in that too? No ma'am, just curious. Real pity that the true work of a detective isn't at all like the stuff your husband writes about. You know, in his hard boiled detective stories, it's the loss of the chair, Mr. Chambers. Calendar. Probably need to go over here on sync. This humidity is killing me. He wipes his face with a handkerchief. I don't think it's been this hot since the spring of 49. Where's that music coming from? The fields, farmers. Walter rents out the land. Guess the music helps them pass the time. <laughs> his eyes linger on Laura's hips. She pretends not to notice. So we can kill him with this if, you, if we want, right? Quite shame for a fine lady like yourself to be stuck out in a place like this. Here's your water. You are too kind. Thank you. He dries his lips on his sleeve. So how much land you got here, ma'am? 60 or so acts. He whistles. Don't get too excited. It was mortgage a long while, while back. May I take a look at the art? So it yourself. What in? It's the pipes. Son of a... Got some plumbing installed and what do you know? Sorry. I need to go down into the basement. Need a hand? Nah. No need to trouble yourself. Besides, you wanted to look around the place, didn't you? Ask for help, uh, Laura. What the fuck? I didn't kill him, so ask for the help. Are you joking? It's damp and dark down in the basement. Too damp and too dark. It smells like mold. Just like Chambers' breath, actually. I can hardly find the water pipes. At first glance, everything seems to be in order, but there is a weird buzzing sound coming from them. It looks like something is stuck in one of them. Hard to say what exactly. Oh god. Uh, pull it out. I hold out my hand and touch something wet and hairy. I grab hold of it and tug. Oh god. A dead rat. Could have been worse. Buzzing stop for now. Looks like Shepherds went out the yard. It was a fucking rat. Jesus. Probably need to go to him. Tell me, Miss Saris, where do you think your husband might be? Got any ideas? He's in the well. Probably you can push him into there. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I don't know. No clue. I have no idea wa where Walter is. I don't, and I don't want to know. To to be told. Well, I understand that, Miss Iris. He was a queer, wasn't he? Was I mean? Why else would he leave a gorgeous woman like you and his own house to go on the lamb like this? Begging your pardon, man, but it must have been out of his damn mind. Anyway, man, thank you for your time. So you had to come all this way for nothing, but I really don't think I can help. It's fine. It's what I'm paid to do. Thanks again for the water. Sorry I bother you. I'm not gonna try to uh, 
kill him or imprisoning him over in my house for now. If he comes back, you are dead. My lo oh shit. Okay, friends call me Lord. I'm gonna play housewife, stuck in a hellhole with nothing but sun and fucking wheat. Two weeks ago, I killed my husband. And well, do I click? Is it? Oh, interesting. Okay, so you need to put on the right uh, order, and it goes to the right place. Okay, mm -hmm. crow. I ain't trying to make excuses, but I think I ought to tell my story from the beginning. But I ain't looking to be forgiven by the gentleman of the jury. I know that's impossible now, but I want to give a chance to whoever gonna read this, to maybe understand me. You see, my relationship with Walter started to fall apart long before the day he died. Long before we moved to this goddamn farm. I even liked it at start, trading the busting city life for a humble one out in the country. Of course, wishful thinking all it was. Women don't get much choice in this world. Taking off wrong turns, and before you know it, you are low class. And I was finally starting to see that all my turns were the wrong ones too. Tab to open the bag. An old well, I don't know why, but it gives me the creeps. We never use it. Well, you're gonna use it. Another broken, creaky step. Nails sticking out, waiting for the right moment to finally jump into my leg. I asked Walter to fix it, not that it that did any good. Walter wasn't a bad person, he almost never drank, <clears throat> and even when he did, he never got violent. In all our years together, he only hit me that one time, and he felt awful about it afterwards. Still, everything about him was starting to irritate me, and I reckon the feeling was mutual. That irritation turned into a burning hatred, that only got strong after we moved out here. His snoring was like nails on a shark board, he'll split everywhere like he was a damn camel. And full got stuck in his teeth all the time. But what really got under my skin was now was how he always reeked of onions all the damn time. It was this disgusting oily smell that soaked into all the furniture. But you wanna know what weird thing was? I ain't never used any onions in my cooking. That's weird. A bird? Pay wall water bill. Scare it, ignore it, ignore it. Wash the dish. We'll never run out of a dirty dish in this house. Why scare the bird? Ouch! Cut my finger. What the fuck? Walt and I met toward the end of 1929. He was a little older than me, mighty handsome of course. He worked as a newspaper correspondent, but I couldn't tell you the name of what paper it was. They probably quit publishing it now anyway. My mother died in 1930. Walter and I got married in 1931, uh, and I got pregnant in 1933. They call it an ectopic pregnancy, and that was followed by a miscarriage. I lost my child before I ever got to be a mother. Damn, that sucked. Hello? Who's calling? Are you gonna speak or what? You think this is funny? It's the lover. It's the fucking lover. Okay. Clean that. Honey, I'm going to the city, but I'll be back soon. I need to stop by the post office. What happened? Uh, I broke a plate. I'm gonna say that. Well, that's okay. We'll buy a new one. 
We ain't got the money for that. We have enough for a plate. Anyway, would you mind ironing my suit? I think it's in the eighth bedroom. Take the key. Uh, I'm gonna say buy some milk on your way back. Not a problem. All right, on. I'm off. So he gave me the key to the bedroom, right? Cubs, pledge glass, all of them are cheapest. These windows have collected dirt for so many years. I tried cleaning them at first, but gave up eventually. Gramophone. Walter brought the, his old Charleston and Mario Lanson records. I prefer classical music. I ain't in the mood to listen to that right now. Frank Kafka the trial. <laughs> the old fireplace sets the tone for the entire room. I don't like this room. It gives me a headache. <clears throat> Jewelry box. You need to know a coat, right? The house is falling apart, a piece of the ceiling gonna fall off one of these days and kill me in my sleep. When I enter study, okay, so this study room, enter anyway. Ugh, it reeks of cigarettes in here. Dusty bookshelves, Walter bought half his library when we moved here. I didn't even bring a winter coat. A safe. An old say Walter keeps the manuscript for his novel in, in there. Better not touch it. Not unless I want Walter to start pitching anyway. A woman in the wheat field. Wheat, wheat, wheat. All we got is damn wheat. Something went wrong in New York, and I never found out what exactly. Walter fell into a pit of depth and dragged me down there with him. He left it uh, absurdly high the possible we'll pay in our apartment, packed our bags and rented the cheapest rust bucket he could find. In the spring of 1947, we moved to the farm, to Walter's parents' old house. Edna Douglas Irish died of typhus back in 1937, and so we jumped off the bumpy life raft that was our farmer life. And rush it into the unknown. So this is our room. Our belongs are in this suitcase. All human life contained in a few bags. We still ain't unpacking most of it. Open it. Birth certificate of John Edward Iris. Date of birth uh, June 6, 46, 1946. Male. Uh, mother Loretta Lou Iris. Father Walter Philip Iris. It was October 1945 when I got pregnant again. Doctors said that I was too old, he used some weird phrase like elderly perturiant or something. A parent with my medical history, neither me nor my baby stood a chance. I reckon it was just a miracle. Nine months later I gave birth to a boy, Johnny Harris. But I'm getting ahead of myself again, or maybe I'm going too far back. Long story short, I lost Johnny too. What? Another baby? Jesus Christ, that she lost. God damn. Of all Walter's scenes, his adultery was the least to concern me. Let's say his gambling affected my life in a much more serious way. His adultery was pretty obvious. Walter hadn't touched me in months. Can't say I was too upset by it though. Nonetheless, I knew one thing for sure, that ginger bitch Margaret, sure did love her onions. Mm. What the fuck is this?
We have to stop these two under over there. We have to stop that from entering, is it? <laughs> what the fuck? I felt trapped, I was suffocated in this cramped farmer's paradise. I could feel uh, the nose tiny team around my neck. I went to bank to the I went to the bank. So can you state your profession ma'am? I am ornithologist by trade, but for now I just run the house mostly. Ornith excuse me, how do you spell that? O R N I T H O L O G I S T. A scientist, the kind who studies birds. Hmm, I see. And how about the man of the house, man? What does he do? He rents out the land. Uh, he's a writer. Wait, Walter Iris? You mean the writer? The affair with the kill, the black tulip? I see you are a fan. <laughs> no, not me, I'm afraid. My wife, though. Why, she just adores his books. Who will have thought? Right here in our back yard. <laughs> anyway. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry to say this, but we can't give you a loan. Well, not to you anyway. But why don't you bring your husband around next time? I'm sure we could figure something out. I was hoping not to get my husband involved. I see. It's me who needs the money, not him. In that case, ma'am, if you urgently need money, then what's stopping you from taking out that 40... Uh, what 40,000? Uh, well, now, just a moment. He shovels through his papers. Well, 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 yes. Oh, I beg your pardon, ma'am. That was my mistake. I just realized the 40,000 is insurance. What insurance? What 40,000? He peers at a sheet of paper. Life insurance, ma'am. Silly of me to have missed it before. But it looks like Mr. Iris Poucher took out an insurance policy in his name. Here, see for yourself. In the event of death or disappearance, yada yada yada. Oh, you can skip this part. The beneficiary will receive a lump sum payment of forty thousand dollars. Looks like a standard contract, as insurance goes. Anywho, I must apologize again. I didn't mean to cause any confusion. No, thank you. You have been a big help. Glad to hear. In that case, I'll be waiting for you and Mr. Harris to drop by. All the best, ma'am. Oh. And, allow, uh, and do allow me to remind you that all the possible contributions are insured with a set. Dead clerks were broke through his cracked, crazy lips and disappeared into thin air. 40,000, 40,000 dollars, an incredible sum of money. It felt like the more I thought about it, the less I was able to comprehend how much money that really was. Walter, he hadn't ever said a word. Why not? I remember getting this strange feeling. It was weak and not all there yet. But I felt it on the edge of my mind all the same. The moment I tried to catch it and pay attention to it, I left the bank and the dry spring wind of the outside world dispelled that feeling as if it was never there to begin with. I must have parked over there. So basically probably it's like that, that, that's why she killed it? Could it be? Hate crimes, homicides and kidnappings have never helped when compared to the last decade. I think it's safe to say that America is going through a new round of development, Coco the deputy prosecutor. Probably because of that money she did that, she killed the husband. Call it me. Laura. Hey Laura. Oh god, Margaret. Hello Margaret. It's so good to see you. How long it's been since we last seen each other? Come to think of it, I ain't seen Walter on much either. How's he doing anyway? Why don't you tell me you're lying hard? But no, we we have to pretend that we don't know about her, about them too. Uh, wonderful. Margo, hurry up! It's busier and a blind dog in a meat house in here. Breaks over. Move those hips, girl. All right, I'm coming. Anyway, Loretta. Oh, the girls are and I are going to see a show on Saturday. You should come join us. And uh, I wanted to talk, Margo. Look, I'll stop by if I'm in the neighborhood. You don't mind, right? I got to shoot. Margo! I'm keeping your tips. Alright, I'm coming for Christ's sake. The ginger peach. I lied, of course. 
I hate no orny ornithologist. Never I've been and never studied nowhere. Just a habitual, uh, a habitual lie I tell. I'm a working girl. I need some way to survive when I move to New York. I want to be a nurse, but failed the exams twice. I washed the tiles at diners, tried to work as a waitress, tried working as a newspaper secretary, and believe it or not, even work at the salon. I wouldn't say I enjoyed any of it, but work is work. I need an article about a female ornithology stones. She was on an expedition of some sort. I liked it. I even bought the birds of America. Ain't much of a bird lover though. Hard to love harbingers of the seas. It was hotter than six shades of hell. I had windows cracked all the way down and could feel the sun burning my skin through the windshield. A swarm of thoughts swirled in my mind, so I didn't notice that I was running out of gas. This old bag of bolts chugged 40 gallons to the mile, but Lady Luck smiled for, on me for the first time that day, and a gas station appeared out of the blue. Its concrete, its concrete face rose from the middle of a cornfield, and I'll crack and worn like the wrinkled face of some old woman. Funny thing was, I can't say I will never seen that gas station before. Even thought this was the only road leading home. That was pretty cool seeing the inside of the car. Feels like I drank more during the pro prohibition than I did my entire life. I ain't touched a drink since I was 42, 42, but with every day I spent living on this farm, I regret that decision more and more. The United States of America, all 48 of them are at a glance. Gonna take a brochure. Afternoon, ma'am. How's today treating you? Could be better. It's too hot today. You ain't drunk there, ma'am. Almost a, a hundred degrees out. Could you fill me up for f three bucks? Sure thing. Anything else I can get you? Uh, I don't even know what I want. I'm gonna say that. If you all know me, ma'am, I may have just a cure for what ails you. You do? Oh, oh, the poison. New and improved rat poison. Even contains its own secret formula. This sucker will get rid of rats, mice, whatever's plaguing you. Smells like almonds too. Guaranteed to work. All for only a dollar ninety-nine. I don't think that, but you know what? You look like a delicious housewife, ma'am. Why don't you take a sample? All the ulcers for you. Oh well, I assure you, ma'am, you will not be disappointed. Why not, right? Why not take the, the poison? I don't think you could get out without uh, touching the poison, right? I think you needed to go for the poison. Wait, you cannot break, is it? Probably you only need to break when it passes over here. Call it B. Money. Oh, it has to be those ones that are white. Fate. Chance. Well, now we have the poison. Hi, Walt. It's hotter than the devil's armpit outside. No kidding, thought I was gonna melt. Ain't it a little early to be breaking out the wine? What are you smiling for? It's all done. What is? You mean, you finished your book? Yep. But that's, that's wonderful. Why didn't you? The Polish already gave me the green light. I sent them the initial chapters. I don't want to jinx anything before it's set in stone, but they are saying... The folks from Metal Silver Meyer are interested. Might even turn into a motion picture, they say. Just imagine, staring Clark Gable. I thought he quit acting. Then Harry Cooper. Who cares? That's not the gosh darn point. Hollywood, Laura. You're right, I'm sorry. Oh, Walter. I'm so happy. Good for you. Good for, 
good for us, sweetheart. Can't wine wait a little? I'll get to I'll get to fixing us a real nice supper. How's about you cook us that steak you know I love? I honestly didn't expect it. For a moment it felt I thought everything could change. It was a flash of hope. Add pepper salt. Salt. Walter Paul's she's noble. And we return to New York, to our apartment 12th Avenue. It's just as if we never left. And life goes back to normal again. Dice the vegetables. What the fuck is that? Dice the vegetables. But still, you made promise before. You probably found another woman before I could start unpacking my damn suitcase. He gambled us into the ground when we were at Dirty Poor. Why should I think any of that will stop in New York? No, something deep inside me, something strange had been triggered, and I couldn't stop it. We could add poison, I'm not gonna add poison. Hey, how's it going? Ready? Coming right up. That will be our last supper together. I told him I was leaving. Told him I knew about Margaret. Told him I couldn't live like that anymore. Walt didn't seem too, bro too broken up about it. You are making a big mistake. He said, mouthful of steak. But you know what? I feel like, for the first time in my life, I'm actually doing something right. That night, I couldn't sleep. The storm ended just as suddenly as it started. The weather cleared up, the clouds appear, and the stars glimmer in the sky. It was the kind of thing you could see only see out on the farm. I dreaded the thought of what I could have done, but I didn't, luckily. Like, we could have poisoned him, but we, I didn't. I decided not to take our scarce savings. Instead, I just pounded the wedding ring and bought a bus ticket out to West Coast, to California. I got a younger brother who lives there. Thought we ain't seen each other for years. Like a pioneer or some character from a Steinbeck novel. Or the thousands who fallen victim to the Great Depression. I had no idea what was waiting for me. I reckon some would condemn me for what I did. Maybe others will tell me it's too late to start over. That there's no use in running away from who you are. That you can't outrun fate. But I say to hell with them. It's never too late to start living. I knew it wouldn't be easy. But I truly felt like there was a new beginning ahead of me. Who are you trying to fool? Yourself, maybe? A new beginning. Well said. But it wasn't like that at all, Loretta. You know that. He's talking with his mouth full. Mm, this steak is delish. Thank you. Last time I ate this good was back in the Big Apple. You barely touch your... I ain't hungry. Well... I ran into Margaret today. Did you? He clears his throat. <coughs> uh, so, how was she? Fatter than when I last saw her, if you ask me. Do you think so? Not like I'm the one to talk, I certainly let myself go. But think about what it's like to be in her shoes, though. Poor girls have been all alone ever since Clarence bought the farm. It's got to be hard for her, and you... He points his fork at Loretta. As a woman, others empathize with her a little more. Uh, and that's why you chose to soothe the griefing widow? Uh, I'm gonna say the bank. Why didn't you tell me about your insurance policy? He continues to chew. You don't trust me one bit, do you? Walter, what did you? What did I do to deserve this? Why is everything we get always shrouded in mystery? Just figure it wasn't any of your concern. Sides, what if you ever decide to have me whacked, huh? <laughs> it was the publishing house idea anyway. They didn't fill me in the, on the details. Listen, I know you blame me for what happened to John. He slams his fist into the table. Nice fucking supper. You just couldn't help yourself, could you? Why do you need to bring this shit up again? Why now? What is with you today? No, you're right. Let's just keep it bottled up inside. I'll hush, I'll be a good housewife, and you can keep fucking around with that ginger slut. Then everyone will be happy. Enough! I'm not listening to this shit anymore. And if you must know, I do. I do blame you. Oh, finally. The brave man comes out and says it. I've read the police report. You're such a hypocrite. Laura. 
I had no idea you could be so full of crap. I read the... Uh, wait. What is this? Murder. Murderer? Oh shit. We kill uh, the... The last one now too. And we throw uh, to the well. Water looks like he's trying to say something. But only the sound of gurgling can be heard as he slowly chokes to death. This is your fault, burn in hell. Burn in hell, Walter. I must admit, I don't like it when people say honestly or to tell you the truth. It always gives the impression that they have been shamelessly lying to you till that point. But there's something transcendent about murder, something beyond our understanding. Despite how regular natural it seems, otherwise why else will anyone do it? Oh, don't accuse a human of being a liar when she doesn't know how to be honest with herself. Stillborn, like my first child, like a poet who speaks uh, no language, like a deaf, blind, and mute person in a world of sound, color, and science. I won't reach the truth with words. They can't give it shape. There's one truth I know, though. Walter is dead. Dead. Oh, you need to click that. <laughs> you don't like people, do you? I didn't say that, but truth to be told, I don't expect any good to come from them. Uh. off do you think people want to hurt you i think we are wasting our time here why's that look i know how this works first we'll look at some pictures together and have a nice little chat then tomorrow you dig into my brain with a metal rod you're exaggerating let's so let's sort me i don't know look at me i've alleviated suffering for for a great many people in your case however i doubt it will be required i would like to believe that let's continue shall we the fuck is that Vagina, of course. Well, this is always a head, okay. I don't know what the fuck that could be. Like a rat, it doesn't look like a rat. At least I can see a rat. No, I can see the face. Hmm. Interesting. What is? Your associative pattern. My husband calls them tricks, but it was he who brought you here, wasn't it? So pay attention. What? How the hell this could be a, a crow? I don't see nothing. Wait. Crow. I'm gonna say crow. Is something wrong? Yeah. These are just splosh. I ain't nothing to see in them. Whatever I do see is all in my imagination. This ain't fair. I ain't done or nothing wrong. Life isn't a fair. At your age, it's high time you realize that. Oh, don't be so gloomy. How did that saying go? In Italy, under the rule of the Borgia, terror, murder, and bloodshed reign. Yet it ended up giving birth to Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and the Renaissance. In Switzerland, broadly love, democracy, and peace were established for 500 years. And do you know what they produce? The cuckoo clock. What the fuck? I woke up with an awful pain. Spraying through my whole body, it came in waves, like one blow after another. One eye was all swollen and watery. Felt like it was gonna burst. Hell, I wanted it to burst. Not that it will help or none. No, the pain was fucked somewhere else. When I opened my eyes, first thing I saw was a crooked rusty nail sticking out of my foot. Went right through my own skin. Ouch! So I tugged it free. Really? Son of a bitch! I was ready to howl, ready to scream at the top of my damn lungs. Best I could muster was a whimper toe. It was like the top of that metal nail was smiling up at me like some sh Cheshire cat. Okay, one more try. Stay calm. Breathe. Come on, little fox. Holy fuck. Shit. Goddamn porch. Goddamn nail. Why couldn't you hammer it in like I asked? The hell's wrong with you, Walter? Trying to make it easier for me to finish you off? Hell, why am I even asking you? Ain't like you ever know, knew which end of a hammer tools anyway. 
This is some wicked irony, alright? Oh lord, I can see rust stuck in the wound. Damn! Ah, ain't no time to dwell on that now. Alright, one more time. Again, come on! Holy shit. That must have hurt us. Jesus. The gaping wounds stare back at me, an awful blood red gash. Last night felt like a bad dream, and about to fade into memory, but still, my ripped up muddy dress, my aching leg, the pull of my own vomit, they all suggest otherwise. I need to get rid of those reminders as soon as I can. I'm gonna be sick. Oh god. She's all fucked up. Ugh. Left out from yesterday's supper. Ah, what a mess. No, oh, this is copyright. That's copyright. God damn. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna need to get the the broom. Uh, the broom or no? The like water to clean the fucking vomit. Oh my god! I even stepped fucking vomit. I should get the shove out of the way, but I can't shake the feeling that I might need it later. And no one worth calling. What are you staring at? Ain't got nothing to say, huh? Well, I'll keep it that way. Oh, I didn't use the poison, which is a good thing. Height. Leaves a pleasant almond stand. He wasn't lying. Well, I didn't use it, so there's no point. Oh, you need to change the clothes. I thought I needed to get uh, a bucket, you know, with water to clean the, the vomit. That looks like we need this to uh, get a change. Oh, my head, my leg hurts too. I saw some pills in the bathroom. Can't take this any longer. Where else is the bathroom? Here? I don't know where the hell is the bathroom. Here? Oh, shit. Oh, sh I knew you were in here somewhere. They expire a long time ago to should I? I don't know if these words expire or not. Put them back. No, Lorette, you need to take to look after yourself now more than ever. Okay. Gotta take off this dress first. I'll think about the rest later. All right. So this was our room over here. So there we go. Change, move away from... Move away from wardrobe? What the hell is that? That's better. Now to get rid of this dress. Who the hell could that be? Oh wait, is this... Oh no, okay, I was gonna say, is this when the fucking... Uh, the guy comes, but he said it was too weak, so... But it's Margaret. Laura, you look like you have seen better days. What happened? Mind, mind calling out Walter for me? Walter ain't all what you need him for, go fuck yourself, he's out back. Like, out, I think this is to kill her. Right? I'm gonna say, go fuck yourself. You know what, Margaret? I don't wanna see your stupid red face or your cheap dress around here anymore. Huh? What are you, deaf? Lord, what? Or maybe your mama dropped you when you were a baby. How dare you? Walter! Walter, you in there? Don't bother, Har. He won't hear you. You bitch, the hell are you up to? Get off my property, you goddamn hick. And stay off. Things didn't go all that well with Margaret. I may have felt a little better in the end. But it was clear that dumb bitch wasn't about to drop the issue. Well, she should at least keep her distance. From now, anyway. Alright, now for the manuscript. I thought to be in the study. True, true.
What in Sam Hill? Sounds like it's coming from the kitchen. Oh, this is when it starts the pipes, is it? Why is it so dark in here? My foot hurts. Where's that sound coming from? Where's the lamp? Smells wretched as I'll get out down here. Pi's making a weird noise again. This ain't the first time. But Walter will usually take care of it. Today's just ended my day. The portrait of Walter's mother, Edna. It's covered in dust. A dead bird, huh? Rats must have been having supper. I don't know where this hole came from, or where it leads, but he, I ain't in any way to find out. A glass jar. Attack on the jar says, secret root. It's a decent coffee substitute when you are out of money. Phew, that should do it. Okay. She doesn't even pick up the fucking uh, dead bird. Relax, Lara. It's just your imagination, is all. The hell do I do now? Cannot go outside. Oh, bro, go to the study, yeah. Can't forget about that. Because of the manuscript. I rarely stepped foot in Walter's study. Everything here is just as it was yesterday. An open bottle of bourbon and that old beat up typewriter. Sheets of paper tied with a ribbon line next to it. Chapters of straw bowl. The rest of the manuscript should be in save. An envelope lay next to it. It's an informal letter on official looking paper certified by a secretary. Dear Mr. Harris, Walter, the ball is po positively sensational. I thought I do believe we should give the title some consideration. I can say without a, sh a shadow of doubt that these are your best work yet, and I'm only halfway through reading. I don't want to go ahead on myself, but I already spoke to Thompson at MCM and they want to talk. I'm very glad that you are back in business, my friend. Send me the rest as soon as it's ready. The contest are draft. There's just a couple of from outs left. P.S. I already ordered the cover designs. You're gonna love them. Sincerely, Sherry. Stamp. Okay. Take the letter out. They were waiting. Details have been negotiated. Contract signed. They just need a little push as well. Uh, I made myself comfortable in the leather desk chair, adjusted the carriage, and began typing. Dear Mr. Chef, I forget to inform you that my husband Walter Iris has gone missing. It's possible something may have happened to him, or perhaps he simply ran out on his love the private wife. His reasoning is beyond me. I'm writing because you were interested in Walter's latest manuscript, Straw Bull. By coincidence, the manuscript currently sits in my possession, the original. There are no copies. Mr. Schaffer, I assume that you are a busy man, so I'll cut to the chase. As far as I know, your com company has taken out a life insurance policy on Walter. Due to this extraordinary development, I must ask that you send a check with the amount applicable in the event of his passing if you wish to see this manuscript in its entirety. Despite my disagreements with Walter, I'm convinced that readers and fans of his talent should not be the private of his latest masterpiece. I will send the manuscript the day the check is received, as I understand that its rightful belongs to you and your firm, which was done so much for our family. Your faithfully, Loretta Lou Aries. Leak, you know. All done. Now I just gotta wait. The pain in my leg was getting worse. So on my way to the post office, I decided to stop at the gas station again. But something wasn't right. The gas station looked different that day. Kinda looked something was missing. In that same vein, I was seeing everything in a brand new light. Kinda like looking through a cracker mix microscope glass or something. Although I don't, I ain't ever looking through a microscope in my entire life. Is that a, a different guy? Is it because of that? Please don't do that. Hmm. 
did I annoy you, ma'am? Uh, are you the owner? Are you the are you the owner here? Yes, ma'am. Where the other man go? What other man? Skinny one. You must be mistaken, ma'am. I'm the only one working here. Need some guys, ma'am? I actually got any painkillers here? No, ma'am. This ain't no drugstore. Then I'll just take a bottle of whiskey. Cheapest you got. Yeah, because that wasn't the... Uh, was like a, like the evil side to try to kill the Walter. My name is William Henry Carter. I've been this county sheriff for the last three years. Early in the morning of August 12, 1947, I got a call from the Harris farm. Miss Harris claimed that her husband, Mr. Harris, had gone missing. How old is Walter, ma'am? 45. And how long have you two been married? 16 years. I see, uh, the sheriff chokes back the horse to vomit. For the sake of decency, Loretta pretends not to notice. Pardon me, has Walter gone missing before? No. This will be the first time. Hot damn, the hangovers get worse every time. Feels like my head's about to explode. Well, you did throw back two full bottles by yourself. What did you expect? Not one bottle. Not a bottle and a half. Two fucking bottles, Bill. I wonder if she can smell the booze on my breath. What I'm saying? Of course she does, jackass. Woman always smell the shit. You are in deep trouble now, Bill. When was the last time you saw Walter? Does Walter have any distinguished features? Any scars or tattoos, some kind of detail that will make him it easy to identify him. Hmm. Nothing besides his moustache. Uh, but he could just shave that off if he wanted to. Alright, so we have this and Loretta. It's all clear as they or is it? Something ain't right. You really need this right now. You better sleep it off in the car. Give it a couple hours at least. There's always the hair of the dog. Nah, I'll just grab a bowl of soup or something. But now ain't the time for pondering soup. What you are staring at me like that for, sweetheart? You think finding a missing person's piece of cake? Expecting me to pull him out my hat or something? I see cool stand to carry a, a couple of city slickers around. Only thing you're good for, Bill, is slugging around a hip flask. Well, to hell with all that. Loretta standing there, arms folded, staring you down like she's fixing to ask you a question, or simply challenge your authority. What a dish though, younger than you, but not a bit by much I reckon. And she's got a great ass to boot. So, a writer, huh? Can you say you are surprised, Bill? A loser like you could never score a damn like her. Got a, a queer look in her eyes though. Figures causing her managers to cough. Poor gal. A stain. Can't quite tell what it was. This house has seen better days, that's for sure. Got an odd smell to it too. Ugh. Better not puke in front of her. Catch you by surprise there, sunshine. This ain't a house, it's a shack. That must be why you, the guy took off. But look, stalking. You live in the trailer, you jackass. You used to be a pilot, a hero. We, we, where are all the heroics now, Billy boy? Drowning in hooch is where they are. Ugh. Maybe I should ask her for a painkiller? Nah, better not. Do your children live with you? Was Walter acting suspicious before his appearance? Tell me, ma'am, was Walter acting strange at all? Did he do anything unusual before his appearance? No, sir. Nothing that comes to mind. Do you do your children live with you? Ain't got no children. No children, no husband, no job. If you're not careful, you'll be free for free for yourself, you dumb drunk. Got no kids, nor any wife to speak of neither. What about Maggie? To nah, Maggie is a different type of broad. All right, cowboy, stay in your brain. Just a couple more questions, then we can wrap up this side show. Did Walter have any health conditions? You trying to imply he's crazy? Well, no, sir. My husband in his right mind. Was he in the military? Yeah, he was, but he never did like talking about it. Say he spent two years on a boat, somewhere out in the Philippines, writing propaganda. At least, that's my understanding of it. You know pamphlets about uh, and, and be like that. 
I chose not to pry and deeper than that. I see. Study. Fuck. So this is what to study. Yeah, he spends most of his days in here. The sherry sniffs. Has anything changed since he went missing? Hard to say. What about family? My family? Nah, no ma'am. Your husband's. Ah, well. He has a sister over in New York City. Can't say we have ever been all that close. Don't suppose you have her number? I'm afraid I do not. The sheriff's mouth curves into a deep frown. May I ask what happened to your leg? Oh, I just scratched it all. Uh, would you like something to drink? I'm not gonna evade the question. I caught it on a nail, but it ain't nothing serious. Ouch. You might wanna go see a doctor about that anyway, ma'am. Tetanus is no laughing matter. Lots of folks die from it. I'll get right on that, Sheriff. Did wa uh, Walter take anything with him when he left? A photo, or maybe a postcard? Mm. Do you know if anything's missing from the safe? Oh no. Walter keeps his manuscripts in there. He didn't take those with him? I ain't sure, don't know the combination. Mm. Did Walter keep up any extensive correspondence with anyone? Any that you are aware of, at least? Or maybe someone you just learned of recently? Mm. Well, Walter spoke with his publisher, of course. Probably to some other writers as well. And it's all war bodies, most likely. Mind if I take a look at the letter? This one? Stick the letter... Stick the letter opening in his throat? What? Stick the letter opener. Wait, but isn't that like a knife, right? I'd rather read them myself if you don't mind. I'm afraid these are personal. It it will be bad if I read them myself, by all means. But do read them carefully. Might offer you some clarity. Yeah. So you could kill the uh, officer in there? Or probably not. Because uh, the officer could defend himself. No, but the officer is a little bit uh, drunk. We can say like that. Alright, Mrs. Harris. I'll be frank. The chance of us finding Walter pretty slim. It's... It's more likely that he'll reappear by himself when he's ready. I have to admit, this sort of thing happens from time to time. Sometimes folks just get a little overwhelmed. They run away from debts, creditors, wives, without realizing they can't ever run away from themselves. Well, I appreciate your wisdom, Sheriff, but what happens now? I'll get to contacting the locals precinct in the meantime. Then the nearest hospital is the morgue. It's a big country. Your husband could be anywhere, ma'am. Forgive me, I know this is a difficult subject, but I have to ask. Did you and Walt have any fights before you went missing? But things have been pretty rocky late. I'm gonna say this one. Hmm. You know, I think Walter and I might gone to the same school. Only got one school around here, so it ain't all that surprising. Was there anyone else you was in contact with around here? Any friends or neighbors? Enemies even? Someone I could talk to? No sir, at least not that I'm aware of. Does that thing still work by the way? What? The well behind you there. Uh, nah, it's all dried up now. Mind if I take a look? Sure, it's dark. I wonder how deep it goes. You know, if you went using it, then that will be grounds for getting fined. You better ask someone to board. Wait, what's that? Oh shit! Is that a rat? God damn! Is that a giant rat? God damn! Sure, it's a, it's a meaty one. Look at that. He's trying to climb his way out. That fellow's braver than I'll get out. Suckers breathe faster than rabbits. So I recommend buying some rat boys or something. Probably got yourself a right nest down there. You got anyone around that can help you, ma'am? I can send my boys to you if you don't. They will board it up for you in no time. Thank you, Sheriff. I can handle it myself. Jesus, that's a big one. What the fuck? We're gonna board it. Cover the well. Mind if I smoke? Go right uh, ahead. This is my mistake in my opinion. You think so? Life's dealt me a bad hand. That I just ain't be playing them right uh, I don't know. Everyone has problems. It's all about how we respond to them. Don't give me that. I shouldn't need to remind you the war is over. 
men shot each other, stab each other, kill each other. And for what? Men aren't the only ones who fight in wars. No, but it's the men who start st starting them. Have you ever heard of the Chinese ruler Wu Zetian? Should I? There's no such thing as a wrongdoing, Loretta. Only doing. Anyway, how are you feeling in general? Honestly, pretty good. We are going to confirm that now. Please concentrate. I don't even know what I'm pressing. I feel like the world has changed too fast and I don't feel safe. I mean, nah, I don't know what I mean anymore. Let's continue. That looks like scissors. Don't let what I did fool you. I'm a good person. Well, an ordinary person, but people sure love labeling things. Smart folk always have simple answers. It's so easy to trip yourself on, way easier than you think, easier than a round of gym rummy, or getting your hands on a pair of nihilist stockings. It's very convenient too. What do you mean by that? Well, it's tempting to commit an unforgivable act, then revealing the self-pity, making excuses for the rest of your life. Now, don't you start with that. Have you ever heard the saying, let, sli let sleeping dogs lie? I think that's exactly what you chose not to do. So is that like a gift? I think we need to put stuff in here, right? Okay, you need to put it when you put the right one, it makes bling. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. The probably say it's hard to understand what else is in there. This one is here. Okay, uh, this. Can even uh, go to two together, what the hell? This one is over here. There you go, it's like a photo. Oh, 
Answer the phone! A call from New York from Mr. Irish. Connect us. You think you can blackmail us, toots? Blackmail? Well, sure, if that's what you want to call it. But since I'm the one who owns the manuscript, I think it, it would be more appropriate to call it reimbursement. Or maybe compensation. For the presumed widow of a talented writer. You could even print that on the dust jacket. Where's Iris? Listen here, lady. Nobody mess with Cherry Schaeffer. I hung up. But you'll call again, make no mistake. People like Schaffer never miss opportunities for profit. Even if it means you exchange sweet pleasantries for treats, threats. But that still leaves me with a problem. The safe. The safe combination. I searched the old damn house for a clue, a note, anything. But it looks like old Wa Walter. Old fuddy fuddy Walter. Who by supper will always for have forgotten. What he ate for breakfast, or sometimes mixed up his left for right. That same lying bastard Walter only ever kept the combination in that cool for nothing brain of his. I tried his birthday, our wedding anniversary, his mother's birthday, and even the date of his first publication. Nothing worked. You must have written the combination down somewhere, Walter. You are a writer, you wrote everything down. Oh, do I need walk? Okay. Crime and punishment. Crime and punishment? Never heard of it. There's a key. There's a key hiding in the book. I it ought to open one of the drawers in this house. No clue which one though. Maybe Walt's parents' bedroom? A letter from the Kelly. A letter from Walter's publisher. Hey daddy, how are you doing? How's Lord? I hope you all doing okay. I'm just fine, doing fine. Sorry it took me so long to write you back, things have been pretty crazy recently, you know how it is, did you finish your novel? I think you did, you've been working on it for so long, daddy I've got some big news I want to talk about, I don't know you'll get this slide at all, anyway Mika and I come and visit so let's talk in person, uh, love you Kelly. Okay this one we already read. Yeah, I'll already read this one, okay. Mm, nothing interesting here except for... A cigar club? I ain't never seen Walter smoke a cigar. There's an address on it. 11 Renault Street. Must be in the city. I could pay a visit when I get the time, of course. Ticket stubs, scribbled papers, a lighter. Horse racing? Hmm. Only what could find a race track out in the middle of nowhere. It has to be. The problem is what? Where the hell do you use it? The key from the book fits. Heavens to what the smell! I got to open a window or something. Oh, it was for this home. The flowers all dried up. Discharge the man shoots parents. Guggenheim warehouse fire. Handsome paid but child not found. Also family of a reward. I remember this case. Someone kidnapped the doubt of some oity toity old tycoon. I got the scissors, is it? Open it. One hell of a drink, a strange photograph, look closer. A key! It looks the kind I used to open a safe deposit box, but where? Somewhere in the city? What the hell, Walter? What else were you hiding from me? The day promised to be eventful, and not just cast off the secrets of Walter's past. I still needed to open that goddamn safe, but I was plumb out of ideas. I considered throwing it out the window, but there was no way that thing was gonna budge. I won't get that check without the manuscript. Is there some way to just air mail the whole safe to Shaffer? I need to come up with something and fast. So I decided to head into the city. Hardware store. Bus depot. 
address from oh that's pretty cool hmm. bus depot well this is pretty cool you can choose to the city where you want to go from the things that you found of course that's pretty cool but I, I didn't check everything in that room that's the problem if this key really belongs to the, the bus depot then it must open one of the lockers here yeah the problem is where Some dogs fallen asleep right next to the lock I need to get into. Hey mister, wake up. The bunk girl something on the task. Well, well, that's just perfect. How do I get rid of him? He reeks of pools. Maybe a fresh bottle will get him to move. Probably gonna need to buy a bottle. Okay, let's go to this one then. It was a club. <clears throat> what can I get you? Sorry to bother you. I'm looking for the Copper Cigar Club. Is this the place? What can you read? Look at the sign, lady. This is a bar. We don't sell cigars here, only drinks. So I suggest you either order one or take a hike. I quit smoking a long time ago, thought I've been regretted more and more lately. A bottle of liquor, please. Cheapest you got. Oh, as the lady finally decided to have some fun, don't ask. Well, you have a lovely evening. Okay, we need that to give to that guy. Excuse me. Hmm? Don't you suppose you know where I can find the Cooper Cigar Club? Cigar Club? Ah, uh, you look at it, babe. But it was shut down a year, maybe two years ago. All that's left of it now is this shithole. The bartender looks over, displeased. Where do you think you are? The Ritz or something? The bartender looks away, even more displeased. A year or two. Why is a, why is a pretty dame like you looking for a cigar club anyway? Here, why don't I buy you a drink instead? Thanks, but I'm in a hurry. Pfft, of course you are. I don't understand. This ain't make any sense. Let me take another look at the matchbox. Hm, the others is right, but there's no way these match are two years old. Hey, there's a phone number on the other side. Was this written with a ballpoint pen? Must be recent then. How the hell did I miss this? I could call the number, but what good will that do? If the club really did close a couple years ago, maybe that loser got it wrong? I should find a phone. Mind if I use your phone? The bartender sighs heavily. It's out back by the John. The dog's sure is scary looking. Well, at least it ain't playing poker. It smells like peace in here. And Lord knows what else. Call home on Matchbox. It's you. I know who you are. You shouldn't have dialed this number. Who are you? Do I know you? <laughs> You'll be seeing each other soon. What the fuck? Bro, I shouldn't have dialed that number. Shit. Hey pal, got a bottle of something you might like. No, uh, look, just move over, will ya? Thank God that worked. Package. There's some kind of parcel here. I don't get it. Wait, what does all this mean? I should wait till I get home to open it. Whoa! What the fuck? Hey, who the hell are you? Then say it, it unto me. Prophecy unto the wind. Prophecy, son of man. And say to the wind, thus save the Lord God, come from the four winds, zero breath, and breath upon this lane, that they may live. What the fuck? Why the hell he was like that close? Jesus, crazy people. Thank god damn, man. 
Ma'am, I already told you. To open a safe, I mean any safe. Though I can't say for sure which one you have. An old one. Well, old or new, you'll need a very good locksmith or a very good thief. Precisely. And I'm afraid I'm neither. I'll I sell these door knobs, door knobs and fasteners, ma'am. What a waste of time. Home sweet home. Oh, sweet home is over there. On my way home, I got to thinking. Maybe I'll just make a mistake. The man on the other end of that wire could have been anyone. An old friend, a comrade in arms, or some old fellow writer. It was amazing how, after Walter's death, I was starting to learn so much about him. Way more than what I knew of him when he was still alive. Things that were obvious private. Things he didn't want to share with his own wife. Then suddenly... The engine overheated. Goddamn buckets of bolts. Lord. Why, what I will do to serve these? Who I'm kidding? You know perfect well, Loretta. So I walked it. Could think the house was only half a mile away. I noticed the luxurious white car right away, parked by my front porch. I've never seen a car quite like it. Some old man with a cane was standing next to it, and something deep in my gut told me nothing good was gonna come from this meeting. Or probably that uh, the publisher, you know, Sch Schaefer or whatever his name. Can I help you, Mr. Morgan? Go call out your husband, sweetheart. I'd like to speak to the property owner. I'm the property owner. Ah, well, that explains it. What are you needing all this land for, anyway? I'm gonna say this one. Name is Peter Solomon Morgan, John. Okay, it's not that guy. But you all can call me Mr. Morgan. I own the land down southeast of here, which means I have the misfortune of being your neighbor. What's that supposed to mean? Come take a look. See this? The whole lot's rotten. Ain't even worth feeding to the livestock. Thank you kindly for showing me some dirt. But I failed to see how this is anything to do with me. Failed to see, do ya? Morgan's old face turns purple with anger. 50 acres of fertile land. Reduced to nothing but horse shit. My sincere congratulations. So what? And that was what to do with me. I hired a specialist, thought his investigation, his, he concluded that drainage installed on your property is wrecking my crops. I was looking to have a conversation with the real property owner, you know, solve the issue peaceful like, but I guess that just ain't done the cards. Uh, let's calm down here. Now let's calm down for a minute. I don't know much about farming, well I don't even know what you mean by drainage. I just rent out the land. Tell me something I don't know. Well, maybe you should talk to the ones who have been working on your land. Who do you think told me what's been going on? You think I'm out there running in the fields like I got hands in my pants? I'll be sick picking to my lovers about this. You can't understand that much, can't you? I came over here to meet the owner face to face, you know, talk it through, man to man. Never did occur to me that I'll be dealing with some dumb broad instead. Oh, pull your head out to your ass. The bank owns this land. Best quit jerking me around, lady. Whoa, whoa! Listen hard, you goddamn hokey. Let go of me, you hassle. If Phillips or someone else is paying you to pull this shit, or this is your own hair brand attempt to sabotage me, Lord help me. I'll drag your ass through the muck yours myself if I have to. You hear me? Fuck off, pig. What's going on here? Howdy, Bill. You doing alright, Amy Saris? Yeah. Mr. Morgan was just leaving. Ugh. Yeah, I'm going, but this ain't over. I'll be seeing you in court, Miss Saris. Whatever, you old fart. Your hand okay? I saw your car out there in the road. Figure I'll come see if it's okay. What was old Bill wanting? Wish I knew, Chef. Wish I knew. Now, Morgan's grip was surprised strong for an old man and left a bruise. The Sheriff made himself cars before long. He came asking same questions but he had them written down in a, a notebook this time and didn't reek of bulls still i don't think he suspects me he seems more focused on walter's past it's an ordinary one that old donkey i'll say ought to learn to keep his hands to himself got any news on walter sheriff actually yes i was talking to new york and found something uh found out something uh, rather strange tell me 
you ever heard of an Iving Wallace? Nope, doesn't ring any bells. Well, it sounds like Walter and Iving did time together. Walter did time? No way. That's what I thought. But when? Why? In the early 20s, but I don't know why. They had much left found the pre war archives. Walter also used this to his benefit, and kept his little vacation a secret. This is more than just a secret. Don't get me wrong, man. Everyone makes mistakes. Far as I can tell, Walter was a dignified man. Wish I could say the same about the, that Wallace character though. Who is he? He made a killing during the Prohibition. <clears throat> but his fortune wasn't big enough to attract necessary attention. Then he got his business legalized and went into publishing. Even bought a stake in a lo local newspaper. Either way, it's bad news. But no change, no charge have been brought against him yet. Strange thing is, well, my guess is Walter and Irving have stayed in touch to this day. I don't mean to scare you, ma'am, but Wallace might be connected to your husband's appearance. What's in the box, by the way? Uh, more junk. Mm. Thought it might be from Walter. Anyway, ma'am, I'll keep you informed. Let me know if anything happens in the meantime. Like what, Sheriff? People like Wallace are extremely dangerous. So I would like to ask you to stay, stay vigilant till we figure this all out. Do take care now. What have you got? What have you been up to, Walt? I must admit, Morgan's visit came as something as of a surprise. I all know, I all no idea what that old man wanted with me. Walter was the one who handled the land, not me. Any knowledge I might add was extremely vague. I could probably figure it out if I really put my mind to it. But on the other hand, who the hell cares? I'll be long gone the minute I get that check. I'll never have to see this house, this land, or Morgan ever again. I wasn't sure what to do next. Uh, leave it to chance. I didn't think it really mattered at first, but that night, for some reason, I started to feel like something around me had changed. It was small, almost invisible. I began to wander through that run down old house, finding my way to corners I didn't even know existed, and then Kelly arrived. I forgot to mention, Walter had a daughter from his previous marriage, Kelly. As she promised in, the, in her letter, Kelly came up with her boyfriend, M Mikey. Now, I only met Kylie a couple of times. First time was when she was still a little girl. She was living with her mama somewhere in New Jersey. But then, her mama succumbed to skeletal tuberculosis and passed away. Got no idea where Kylie found that joker, Mikey. It was easy to tell from just a glance that he wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. Now, Kelly was a fine enough girl, pretty as peach. She had thick brown hair, big old doe eyes, a healthy tan, big hips, a nice, and a nice behind. Imagine the vulgarity of Mae West in a play by Carl Eirich Ulrich. Mikey is actually short for Michelangelo. He's some Italian kid from Jersey. At just 23 or maybe 24 years old, he was big enough to fill a doorway. And I mean, he was huge, black hair, all shiny with either grits or brilliant teeth, muscles bulging under his copper skin. I had no idea what he did for a living. I think maybe he served in the navy before getting kicked out. Either way, it didn't seem like things were going well for them either, either of them. Like any young girl whose daddy walks out on the family. I think it's safe to assume Kelly despises her father. So why would a girl abandoned by her daddy drag her boyfriend across the ground to see him? Folks on the outside looking in just wouldn't understand, but I did. Oh, I knew right from the start. Where's daddy? Since they were too tired from the road, I was able to stall them with a dumb lie. At that point, all they wanted was to bathe and get some sleep. So I used the time to get my story straight. Your father abandoned me too on, gathered his belong belongings and took off like the wind. The plan was to appeal to the sympathy of a fellow woman by draw drawing comparisons to Kelly's mother, squeezing any drop of sentimentality out of her that I could. But I knew it was never gonna work. To Kelly, I'll always be the bitch ruining her parents' marriage. Heck, she probably blames me for her mother's passing, and I can't really fault her for that. Damn. I put them up in the guest bedroom. In the room that Douglas Harris had on who sat separately for his wife. His granddaughter now slept with Mikey. Not that they were actually sleeping. Out in the hallway, in the stillness of the night, I could hear Kelly breathing, along with her not-so-muffled sights. 
the creaking of all floor boards and iron bed springs that all long forgotten the warmth of human bodies, bossy to the beat of Mikey's bestial momentum. Truth to be told, I felt myself blushing something awful, until finally it all quieted down and I tried to get some to sleep. That looks like a brain? What the fuck? So this is a bottle, I can already see. But this looks like a brain. A rat. A bottle for a rat? What the fuck? Fuck is this? Oh, good lord. Walter. Hi, honey. So, what's new? Sorry, dumb question. Don't give me that face, please. Listen, I need the combination for to save Walter. Say something. Come on. Now I can't get you to shut up. Oh, I mean, I couldn't. I want to tell you so much, you know. About what was tormenting me, burning me up on the inside. And now that you are finally quiet enough to listen, I don't know what to say. Kelly's here. Her boyfriend's pretty lousy in my opinion. She's some loser and a dumb one at that. That, But that's just my first impression. We know how deceiving those can be. You forgot, huh? Look, there, in the basement. What you mean? What? It was a nightmare. Falling asleep in a struggle recently, so I've taken to reading Walter's books, don't matter which. They all sent me to sleep right away. Whoa, what the fuck? Tell us that shit. It's raining again. The fuck was that crap? Lord, what's got into you, Loretta? <laughs> a puddle, looks like the roof's leaking. A fuse. What's it lying in sink for? I hope it didn't get wet. Well, that was so fast, I couldn't even see what the hell it was. Hmm? Looks like the clock stopped. Can't sleep, me neither. Oh, because I clicked immediately where it was. One more, that will do it. I clicked immediately where it was, the, the fuse, that was the problem. It ain't right. No shit. How the fuck is this even possible? What the fuck? I'll be damned. Topic of cancer. Good evening, madam. Evening. Are you alone? We all are. What's going on in there? Private sorry. Invitation only. May I see yours? That's quite alright, miss. I think someone is expecting you. Expecting me? Who could that be? Why don't you uh, come in and find out? Sounds tempting. But I don't think my dress suits the occasion. Come now. You look gorgeous, if I may be so bold. A cigarette, miss? It's miss, actually. And I quite I quit a few years back. Who am I kidding? That doesn't matter now. Just so you know, I'm aware that I'm dreaming. Whatever you say. Got a light? Loretta drowns deeply on the cigarette. Forgot how much I enjoyed that. One shouldn't deny themselves pleasure. 
don't disagree with you there. It's pretty nice here. I'm getting a strange feeling, like I've been here before. Of course, madam. We only serve those with memberships here. If you don't mind me asking, what will you do about the girl and degenerate? Beg your pardon? What task starter should be finished, Loretta? If you were me, what would you do? I'm afraid I'm not you, madam. Each man is the architect of his own fate, but I'm deeply convinced that you know what needs to be done. Of course I do. Is anyone gonna pick up the phone? I believe it is for you. Of course. Hello? What in the... Oh, this can't be happening. Look, look at that, it looks like there is something in there. I recognize this tune, I've heard it somewhere before. What the fuck? Oh, what the hell? Sean, it's alright, calm down, here we go. What the fuck? Oh, gee. oh my god! What the fuck? Rats eating a baby? What the fuck? Our memory is selective. We only remember what we want to. Wait, do you remember of a baby being killed by rats? What? Shook, shook. I don't know why sometimes it didn't cut. Yeah, sometimes it doesn't cut. It's weird. See. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't cut. Alright, so this should be Kelly and uh, the Mikey. Those two. The next morning I remember grabbing meat, and Walter will never lift a finger, or do anything to help me around the house. Mr. Lacey himself, by some divine coincidence, had sharpened the kitchen knives. Good morning, Law. I'm gonna say morning. White long face. Oh, Mikey and me had a fight this all. What smells so good? I'm making some minced meat. Gonna fix us up some dumplings. Oh, that'll hit the spot. Dad always raves about your cooking. Mm -hmm. Can I help with anything? Nah, I'm almost done. Fair enough, I'll just make a mess of it anyway. Got any coffee? God, I'll die for a good cup of Joe. I'm gonna say that. We ran out. Ah, that's a shame. Where's Mike? Oh, uh, he's out in the backyard, trying to fix our car. Ah, so he is. Must be sweating us up a storm, the poor thing. Oh, but don't worry about him. He knows his way around the car. A regular grease monkey. Oh, mama. Quit being so jealous. Not my fault the old man hasn't taken a look under your hood in a while. Where is he, by the way? Uh, I'm gonna say I don't know, girl. What do you mean you don't know? Does he do this often? Sapir, I mean? The grinder crush through a meat vein. Did you know your father's been seeing another woman? No, I didn't. Though I can't say I'm surprised either. Don't forget he left his first family too. And he had a child. He had me. The meat squeaks and squelches in the grinder. Well, anyway. Listen, Lo. I've been meaning to ask. You need to use it to work as a hairdresser, right? Don't suppose you could cut mine? If that's what you want, sure thing, Kelly. I'll give you a good cut. Ooh, we have a Caesar. I think so, yeah. I mean, he's great, and in bed. Have you seen him? He's a living Adonis in the flesh. I never had it so cool with anyone else. 
It's just thinking about these biceps turned me on. We can't skip details. I'm gonna say this. You're still young, but you should know big muscles aren't. Oh, I know all that. And well, we are trying our best. Mike is trying to. I think he really loves me, and that's the most important thing. Just be careful, Kelly. That boy will knock you up in the blink of an eye. Then he'll either drink himself into an early grave or leave you for the next pretty little thing that walks by. Mark my words. A bike racer? Can you even earn money from doing that? Mike is not like that. They are like that. You know, Laura? I understand your life hasn't excited me in a piece of cake, but there's no reason to tire everyone with the same brush. Times have changed, but the people haven't. Me? I just want everything to go right for a change. These past few years have been tough, you know. Looking after my mother was hard, and now, now I'm gonna have a baby. Then I felt sick. Sick from the thoughts I, that have been spinning in my head all this time. All the things I've done, or came close to doing. Kelly's gonna have a baby. In only the fact that she and Mike are basically children themselves. They have their whole lives ahead of them. But for me, my die. My die was cast the moment I stopped at that damn gas station. I have already been considering that if I were able to sell the novel to Schaffer and leave town, then maybe Kelly and Mike could move in here. Maybe they will be able to find happiness here. That Walter and I never could. You were right. We are almost done. And not even 50 minutes have gone by. Oh nice, I love it. Well, Hans always remember what they've done. Were you expecting anybody? I wasn't. Maybe it's daddy? Wait a minute. Uh, but that's where? To this way? You cannot get to this way, right? It's too late. I ain't gonna do that now. Not a chance. Oh wait, you could try to kill her with the meat cleaver? Jesus. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Oh god. What's going on? Milk delivery, man. This must be some mistake. No. That's impossible, but we don't get milk delivery here. You disappointed us, Loretta? Excuse me? You had such a promising start, only to let yourself bulk to, pet to petty cowardice right at the finish line. I don't understand. Oh, but you do understand. You have done so much work, told so many lies. All for what? I ain't a murderer. I think Walter might have a thing or two to say about that. Alright, love, time is running out, so listen carefully. Margaret will be here soon. Get rid of her. Pull yourself together, Loretta. This is your last chance, got it? Make sure Margaret forgets how to get here, for good. Otherwise, the consequence will be irreversible. But I don't know the combination. Yes, you do. Think when it all start for Walter and end for you. Remember what happened in New York. Well, ma'am, looks like I got the wrong address. Sorry about that. I hope you have a great day. Hey, Laura. Who was it? Loretta? Are you okay? Miss Harris? Yes, I'm fine. She's the lead this. Laura! We need to choose, is it? No, it looks like we need to go for that. You cannot choose the, the thing. Doesn't look like you can choose uh, the scissors. Walter's popularity, one after the one ended, and people stopped buying his books. And one of the stories did get turned into a screenplay starring Rita Aworth, but that was more an exception than a rule. Walter did his best to put on a brave face, but there was no denying it proceeded his ego. They didn't even put his name in the end credits. We put a down payment on a luxury rental apartment 12th Avenue. Walter was, well, not a communist, that's for sure. But he was at least a socialist in his beliefs. Not that I can really tell the difference, mind. It was pretty fashionable among writers and artists back then, as a daughter of a hard working miner who died in the mine just the day before it was closed. I can't say I share in his leftist ideals. Don't mean I think that the Jews, Bolsheviks, or that Stalin fella pose any threat to the American way of life. But I still consider communism to be nothing more than fiction. Fooled by intellectuals on the east side who hourly work a day in their lives. We argue from time to time. While calling me or rather people share my way of thinking. You know, hypothetical people probably exist somewhere, but basically myself personify for the purpose of this conversation. 
Philistines. Said the Philistines paradise and easily swayed construction. That only needed a good rub for, his, for the blinkers to fall off. But the Philistine paradise ain't so bad. We live in, in it while we are we're in New York in a way. We had a cozy rental apartment with electric toaster and electric iron and one of those automatic lemon squeezers. Sure, we paid for, all, for it all in installments. So what? I can say one thing for sure. It was much better being in a boring, well-fed paradise than in some crawling old barn with no settled eating. Walter may have needed to hear the rustle of wheat for his inspiration. All I ever heard was the whisper of demons. What's up? I took her to bed. Oh, she's looking. She seems alright, but I, I'm no doctor. She says it's the weather. You wanna head out? Oh, I don't even know anymore. Maybe she won't leave her alone, you know? Oh, come on. She nearly broke her damn neck, Mick. But she didn't, did she? What else is there for us to, to do here? She gave me a haircut, though. She did? When do you get that done? You won't have noticed if I hadn't said nothing. Well, it's beautiful. Can we hit the road now? Fine, let's go. There's no way to turn back now. And there never will be. It's so noisy inside my head. My thoughts are all murky. No, scattered even. I don't want to think. I want to act. But it feels like there's a glass wall in front of me. And I'm gonna break it. 24... December... How could I have been so blind? December 24, 1946. The day that divided my life into a before and after. That's the combination. The manuscript, or typescript to be more precise, trouble. 200 pages of yellow strange smelling paper. Inch of metal had been keeping me away from my desk. And finally, I held the book in my hands. It won't be a words of waltz. If it didn't include some pretentious epigraph from John Milton. I don't, I don't know this poem, but it's like I said before, I don't read much. A sharp knock on the door interrupted me from enjoying the moment. It was Margaret, right on time. Sorry I was so rude look before. It's okay, I can understand, I think. Thanks for the milk. I hope you choke on it. Ain't it funny how nothing changed? Excuse me? This living room, I mean. This diary's house. Ah, or your house, I suppose. Might be a little dustier than before, but that's about it. Double-crossing bitch. Walter and I were friends when we were kids, you know. We will spend the entire days here at Miss Harry's. Before Clarence passed away? Oh yeah, Loretta. Long before that. But Clarence ended up being the best of us. I'm so proud of him. His purple heart and his bronze star. Use them to open your favorite ginger ale. We're delivered with a letter from the present. Can you imagine? I think I saw a rat out on the porch. Yeah, I ran out of poison. Margaret takes a sip of her milk. So, who's the fetching young people you're renting to? Oh, that's Walter's daughter, Kelly, and her fiancé. Got to get out of town. I'd love to meet her. Tell them to make sure they come pay me a visit. So, Walter still hasn't showed up? Well, you don't see him here, do you? The sheriff came and spoke to me, Loretta. Bill's a good man, but I ain't told him about our situation. Not yet, anyway. He told you that Walter did time once. I don't understand. What's not to understand? Your lover, Walter's an ex-con. You shouldn't go making up stories, Loretta. Guess neither of us knew him as well as we thought, huh? This ain't like him. What about his novel? The manuscript upstairs in his safe. He left it here? He told me they were sending him a check. What are you getting at? Is that why you decided to ruin my marriage? You ruined it to yourself, Loretta. Walter's miserable around you. Don't you get it? You are the miserable one. Uh, uh, what do you know about marriage? I'm gonna say this one. Now you're telling me he just up and left? Left me? Left his novel? Left his own daughter? You left her a long time ago, Margaret? You think you are the first? You ever ask what happened with Callie's mother? Left to rot with tuberculosis. And Walter kindly paid for the funeral. Linda drank one too many of those radium drinks, and you know that. You know why we moved then? Cause you wanted to finish book. Quite, quit being such a fool. Walter's always been a coward. 
one small problems enough to make him turn tolerant. I don't trust you, Loretta. Then get this truck that ginger scalp of yours. Let's say you're right. Let's say his filthy lying ass is currently rotting in the well out in the yard. Rats slowly picking his bones clean and all that. A fate you'll totally deserve, by the way. Even if that were all true, it would be your word against mine. This place is freezing. Is it the room spinning or is it just me? She'll call it quits at that last vodka martini. Yeah, okay. The last three vodka martinis. The lights on the, in the bathroom. Is Loretta still up? I urgently need to take a leak. Wait, we are playing with uh, the fucking guy now? What the hell? We are playing with Walter. Love this photo. Kali's having here. I wonder how she's doing. I to send her a postcard. What a guy, huh? Spent your life trudging through bullshit, just like the rest of them. But look at you now, standing in the tux, as crisp as a new dollar bill. Wish my folks could see me now. Hey, you in there? Let me in, old Gia. I really got to go, Laura? Oh, for Christ's sakes. No, I forgot to turn it off again. Must have been listening to one of our lousy radio plays. I wish she'll pick up a book. What about this? Johnny's bedroom. I should not go in, or I'll wake up the baby. My typewriter hasn't brought me money or fame. I ain't in the right state of mind to dial anybody, even if I wanted to. The lines won't be operating at this time of night. Our bedroom. I ought to put a base in by the bed or something. Oh, Walter. Let's buy a toaster, Walter. Let's make breakfast like they do in France, Walter. 25 bucks. And what for? Where are my goddamn breakfasts? I'm probably gonna regret this, but Loretta didn't give me another option. Lol, taking a piece in the sink, what the fuck? Ah yeah, that's much better. The hell's calling at this time of night. Hello? Oh, it's you. Yeah, I told you I would. I'm not whispering, because it's two in the morning, because my wife. What the fuck, Frank? Why are you calling me at my house? How do you even get called through at all? No, I'm not drunk. Yes, yes, I hear you. I got it. Tell Wallace I have something even better. He's gonna love it. I just need a couple more weeks. I know, Frank. But two weeks aren't gonna hurt anybody. That's none of your business. How will they know? No, I haven't spoken to anyone. Are you trying to scare me? Don't try me, you fat fuck. I know what I'm doing. I've got to go. Don't come here again. Think you are so clever, huh? Well, I got other plans, Frank. Where I put those fucking match? I need a number. Think, Walter. Think. Bedroom. They will be in the writing desk. I'm gonna bend you all over, bunch of greedy assholes. That's it. One call. No Wallace. No Chambers. No more dirty work. Only litter to honest to goodness. To goodness litter tour. Suck it, Robert Penn Warren. But there will be no turning back. These people are dangerous. Screw it. Dangerous or not, they are gonna make me rich. Dumb bro, walk the baby up. Oh, you fat son of a... I told you not to call here, you fu- Oh, honey. Sorry, I thought it was someone else. Yeah, everything's fine. I got home, it's just fine. Are you okay? Can't sleep? Oh yeah, miss you too, baby doll. What? She's not asleep, no. No, I haven't told her. I don't know. When the time is right. When the time is right, okay? Go to bed, baby. Good night. I love you too. Bye. Loretta, are you out of your mind? Laura, you fall asleep there? Open the door. You hear me? Open the, the door right now. God, Loretta, what have you done? Wait, what the fuck? 
Do be careful with the China. You are you are sick, Loretta. Maybe so, but I'll be sick and 30 grand richer. And then I'll be long gone. Oh, you hear that? That will be an important call from the publish, publishing house, most likely. I'll be back in a moment. Should I kill this ginger bitch now? Or maybe I should just let her go? What can she really do? Run crying to Bill? She probably rolling around with him too. Who'll believe her? I won't be so much more than a Mary by the time anyone figures out. Cuba? Tahiti? Hawaii? The world's gonna open for you like you won't believe, Loretta. All you gotta do is make a choice. Hello, I mean, hello. Miss Harris? We accept the offer. One of your, our guys already on his way to you. Miss Fitzgerald. He'll be in touch when he's in town. Marvelous. Oh, I'm Miss Harris. Please accept our deepest condolences on behalf of the talent press team. We are extremely concerned and hope Mr. Harris will return soon. When I finally hung up, Margaret has nowhere to be found. Must, must have gotten scared. Wish I hadn't wasted my shikori rot, root entertaining her. Either way, I, w I had the manuscript. All I had to do was wait for Fitzgerald. But of course something just had to go wrong. Something I never would have expected. Oh god, what happened? We need to evade, is it? With the bars, we need to evade the blood. It could be that. Probably you can't lose all the birds. Because every time I lose all of them, it looks like I, I lose. Over here, don't go to the blood. No, there go some birds. Oh god, what the hell is that? Okay, so you need to evade the, the blood. Did you say something? No. We're nearly there. I think I saw that bird on the road. Turn on the radio on or something. It ain't picking up any station around here. p page, we're almost there. Is that your e flask rattling around over there? Walter ignores and keeps driving. You know we are on the highway, right, Walter? Yup, and not another car in sight. Relax, okay? Maybe I should drive for a while. No need. Like I said, we're almost there. Cool, cause I'm starting to get car sick from all the wheat fields. You and me both. It's only wheat. Nothing really. Come on, you can tell me. I'm thinking up my next novel. Oh, sounds exciting. I'm just star staring at the wheat. Let me take a sip of that, Walter, here. So, this novel, what's gonna be about? A thrill about the kidnapping. Interesting. Yeah, it's still too early to say it much, but I can share the little at the title at least. Shoot, Strawball. I like it. Here's to, to the Pulitzer. Don't overdo it, Law. We have a lot of housework waiting for us. Did I make it? Do I need to go and get the manuscript, is it? 
Was there always a window here? Yeah, where is the fucking bathroom now? I know my screw's insane, but I got the combination. There ain't anything more for me to do in this smoky old room. Walter's things bring back uh, unpleasant memories. Alright. Really? Again? I'm gonna sue that dumb plumber. Oh god. The noise is coming from the hole this time. But it's all boarded up. I can't pull them off with my bare hands. I think I saw an axe in the barn. Uh, to get to the barn, I think we need to go through here, right? God damn music. Why do I always got to play same melody? Over and over and over. Don't look over there, just don't. Where is this fucking axe? That will do. Hope I don't get a splinter. They still think like, uh, like are we uh, walking with the axe? It's like we are a murderer. We're gonna kill someone. That's what it looks like. Oh god! Oh lord! You scare me. What you want? Hey, I'm talking to you. What are you staring at? You shouldn't yell at old Jim Paul, ma'am. He's a mute. So what do you want? There's a little problem. Would you uh, go take a look? Show me. God, what the smell? Why, why is it here? Cattle's dying. Yeah, I can see that. Maggots are already getting to work. It's Phillips. Storm has scared them to death. This un un this unprobably bolted in the night. And wander over to get your land. What's wrong with it? Is it sick? None too sure, I reckon. I was rotting, cattle dying. Witchcraft is what it is. That's crazy talk, witchcraft. Well, taint to right that's all. Maybe it's the water. Don't you go drinking from the well, ma'am. I ain't. We got piping. What's gonna happen with the eifer? Smith's getting the rifle. That's what. Gonna haul her away in the truck tomorrow. Guess I'll head home then. A pair of Philly Billies poking their nose around. Best put an end to that sooner than the later. So basically because of the Walter being in the you know in the hole in the well is contaminating the the water. The sooner I start, the sooner I'll finish. What's inside? I can't see a thing. The sound of brakes? Sounds like a car's pulling in the driveway. He wipes his neck with an handkerchief. You got uh, a very lovely house, ma'am. Don't bother. I can't stand this place either. Is this Mr. Harry's house? His parents. So then that's when we put out the axe over here. Ma'am, how long has Mr. Harry been gone for? Why don't you start off by telling me who it was that hired you? Ahem, of course. I work for a firm called Wallace and Partners. I represent the interests of Mr. Wallace. Your husband owes Mr. Wallace a substantial sum of money, ma'am. Did Mr. Iris mention anything about that to you? No, but I've heard about Wallace. And I know he used to be a criminal. You may be right. But who can truly call themselves a saint in today's world? Mr. Wallace has paid back his debt to society and is now worthy of not living it. You know he recently donated 30,000 for disabled war vets? If Wallace gives away his money so easily, then what does he want with my husband? We don't have any money. You're wasting your time. You have to understand, ma'am. We wish Walter no harm. We are old friends of his and we want to help. Think about it. Would I really drive all the way across the country to just collect on some old debt? Mr. Wallace knows 
about Walter's money situation. You see, he was supposed to pass on a particular item to us, an item that belongs to us. What are you talking about? Did Walter ever happen to show you a box? A box? Oh shit. Yes, a wooden one with a lock on it. I don't know what you mean, mister. Why would he ever show me a box? Be beads of sweat fall from Chambers' face onto his wrinkled shirt. Can I get you something to drink? Honestly, I was hoping you'll ask. The kitchen just down the hall. Follow me, sir. Let me ask you, ma'am. Why did you move out here in the first place? Walter wanted to write his book, and did he? Yeah, he's working with a publishing house. With Mr. Schaffer, yes, I know. Mighty, mighty interesting, isn't it? First he moved from New York, then Walter up uh, and disappears. Maybe he was afraid you were coming? Maybe he was. Tell me, Mrs. Harris, where do you think your husband might be? Got any ideas? He isn't well, no. Maybe he went back to New York, he's got a sister there. Hmm. What was her name? Cynthia. No, I already spoke to her. Then maybe you passed him while you were on your way here. Walter could be halfway to New York by now. Well, that certainly is possible. So you had to come all this way for nothing. But I really don't think I can help. It's what I'm paid to do. Think again for the water. Sorry I bother you. Now keep this in mind. We are not the only ones looking for Walter. There are people out there who only want to cause him and his family harm. I'm staying at the Twin Soaks Motel. If Walter happens to show up, you be sure to call me. Here's my card. Your husband is in serious danger. But you and I can help him together. Let's be honest, I cannot help, is that? So... There's nothing we can do for him. these things a butterfly a bug Is this Mr. Schaffer? Miss Harris? Good morning, how are you doing? Patrick Fitzgerald at your service. I represent the legal interests of the Atlantic Press, okay. We spoke on the phone. It's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. Ah, yes, I don't trust that vending machine food either. Well, Miss Harris, I have to admit that letter of yours was unexpected. I hope you understand the scale of the trust my firm has in your husband. I was sent out there from Mississippi, you know. We expect Mr. Harris to reappear soon, of course, and then we'll all learn the secret of his mystical disappearance. But before that, I have a couple of questions. Remind me, what novel are we talking about here? You don't know? I do, but I like to be sure. The Straw Bowl. Have you read it, by the way? Yes. And how do you find it? It's his best work, a real page turner. Fitzgerald claps his hand. Fantastic! The letter notes his soft hands. She realized this is the first time she's seen a man with a manicure. In that case, I suggest you call it quits on the coffee. You hand over the manuscript and I'll make some calls. We can get contacts right and up on. You do have the manuscripts with you, right? That ain't gonna work, mister. No contracts? Not this time. I thought I made a point very clear in the letter. Your point? That's right. 30,000. A check is fine if you can if you can to cash. A check, huh? Listen, Fitzpatrick. Fitzgerald. If you want the novel, then you're gonna have to pay me. For a moment, a look of incandescent rage flashed across Fitzgerald's clean-shaven, reptilian face. After a pause, his smile returns with a sparkle. Oh well, alright, we'll play your game. No context, I can even write that check for you right now, but I gotta see the manuscript first. The manuscript's at home, locked up in a safe. Fitzgerald takes a slurp of his coffee. Did you come here by car? Gee, this coffee's lousy. Yeah, I drove here. 
the journey home usually took 25-40 minutes, but with Gerald's XP motor we got there in 15. We really put this pedal to the metal, and seemed quite comfortable doing it, like he was used to it. You couldn't make that man hush up for love or money. His lips were flapping the whole time, talking about weather, sports, his work over in Mississippi, Louisiana, singing the praise of New Orleans cuisine. So, 40 grand, that's quite a pretty sum, I'll say it's fair. Looking at you, I get the impression you're coming short on money. Hey, so long as folk wanna keep reading about people sleeping with and murdering each other, then your husband, myself and even you will be set for life. No, it can't be. The safe is open. I don't get it. Someone, someone stole my manuscript. Oh, that's well. Chambers. Well, Miss Iris, looks like we are done here. No, wait. I know who stole it. I know where it is. I'll get it back. That's certainly an entertaining, entertaining story, Loretta. You have given me quite the performance. It was an intimidation act at first, but now you have evolved into Broadway. I won't be surprised if Mr. Harris jumped out from behind that curtain and sang us a tune next. No, please. You have already wasted too much of my time. I'm heading back to Mississippi. I will be sure to advise Mr. Sheva away from any further dealings with you or your husband, wherever he may be. I'll get you the manuscript. Cocksucker, what do you know? I I'm gonna say this. I don't know what you are planning, but my boss is deeply interested in that book for some reason. I'll be leaving tomorrow at noon. Be sure to keep that in mind. Because I won't be coming back again. We clear? Crystal, I'll bring the manuscript, I promise. Well, alright then. Can I use your phone? Fog and rain again. I race it down the slick road in frenzy rage. Heading to the motel that Chambers are right on his business car. Fat ass more with rotten teeth. He must have stolen the manuscript when I was in the basement. But why? How could he have known the combination? Who is this Mr. Wallace working for? And why do they need my manuscript? The rain soon gave away to hail. That fell so high I considered stopping to change the tires. I almost missed it as I struggled to keep the car on the road. The neon sign winked in the darkness. Twin Oaks. Here it is. Um, I find chambers, I find the manuscript. The part ain't here. Lucky you, Loretta. Mm, chambers ain't on the list. He must have used another name. Damn, but which one? Charles F. Banks, 12. Charles F. Banks Charles F. Banks, Frank Chambers, Bingo, it's an anagram, looks like he's in room 12 Home keys, they are locked behind the glass, I can't find, I can't get to them from here Paradise from for Roach trash can. Lock it. But it looks like the key is still on the other side. I can try to. I can try an old newspaper trick. Mammals sometimes lock me, me and my brother in the room when we were kids. But you always leave the key in the door. We learned that if you could slip a newspaper under the door and give it a good enough push. But I cannot interact with the newspaper again. That's the problem. You can see them thing, chambers lower the blinds. Okay, I got the coin. Now I can go to the newspaper.
Hey, where's my newspaper? Come on, you dumb bucket of balls. Give back my money. Man, can I help you with something? What happened? Uh, to tell true, I lost my room key. What's your last name? Mr. Banks came alone. Who are you? Fuck. Oh man, I wish I could help. But you asked to pay for them fair and square. I can't give you the key, I'm sorry. Fuck. May I borrow a newspaper? I tried putting money in the machine, but nothing worked and I can get it back. You're welcome to it. I ain't a single thing of interest in there anyway, aside from the baseball. Bear for warn me, don't bet on the reds, you old fool. Damn, probably there was a way, probably you needed to say the 11. Need to find a way to distract. I may help. Yeah, there's a fountain spotting out of my toilet. You got to hand someone, send someone to room 5 and fast. What in? I'm on my way. Hopefully that will distract him for a while. The vents go through all the rooms. Pro, I need to say to go to the 11 and like that you could go for the other one. Their key to room eleven better than nothing, I suppose. But like that, we can get that one too. Smells damp in here. Meh. Call it situation, but I feel like I'm gonna need this screwdriver. Mike, the Brody in the lab can play about some stink in the ventilation. I think I write my tide in there. Go check it out. What the hell are you doing, Loretta? I'm lucky the real Miss Hoodhouse isn't here. Jesus. I ain't Amelia Hurtart. But time I got used to it. Empty. Fuck, really? A prosthetic Bible. They put one of these in every room. I don't really believe in God, or rather, I don't want to, given all that's happened. I can feel the air moving around my feet. A vent. This probably connects to the room of chambers. I might be able to turn the screws if I had a coin or something. Damn it all. I have the screwdriver. All right, here we go. I swear, this is the only time I'm doing it again. Chambers, you there? Miracle bed with massaging capabilities, only five cents, Fox low. Couple newspapers, I've seen this in detective movies. They put this down so they can hear people sneaking towards the bed. Who or what was Chamber fed off? That's Chamber's pistol, is it low? But where is he? The suitcase is locked, I can't lock open it. Oh god! Oh, for the love of... This ain't the time to fix my makeup. This must be the murder you happen. Looks like someone slashes the same brush with a straight razor, but not touch it. Chambers, what the stench? How long has he, how long has he been here? I think I'm gonna puke. Chambers' fat fingers look like bloody sausage. It looks like they are holding on to something.
Probably for the sweet case, right? I'm too old for this shit. Holy crap. Bad news boss, Harry sent here, just his wife, and it's hard to say whether she's just acting a fool or if she really uh, she's or if she really is one. Only thing I can say for sure is going a hole. This job ain't easy, pigs are already making a mess of things, but I got one last lead. Margaret Hatfield, a neighbor, the widow that Walter's been sleeping with. I'll pay her a visit tomorrow. Oh yeah, I think I'm being followed. I'll call again for a payphone later. It was clear from Chamber Strange Telegram that neither he nor Mr. Walsh were interested in the manuscript. They were chasing down Walter for old and paid debts. It looks like Chambers had some of his own too. Guess he'll never pay them now. It, I was more than a little confused. Who stole my manuscript? If it wasn't Chambers, and I'm, am I asking too many questions? I, I ain't getting my answers. I'm a simple woman. I got simple desires. Why is everything fall apart the one time I decided to try my luck? The storm wasn't letting up. I saw I had it all. Must have got some of Chambers' blood on me. Some corrosive thoughts were eating away at my head from the inside. Black raindrops rolled off my hair, wet hair. A gas light flickered in the kitchen. Loretta sniffs at the air. Something smells weird, like someone smoking cigars. It's coming from the kitchen. Probably who, who stole was uh, Kelly and uh, Mikey. Someone cut, cut wires, of course. What do you think, Bambi? Yeah, I don't like it either. What the fuck is this? Who the hell are you? Take a seat. The cycle. I'm gonna take a seat. I'm not gonna try anything. At a girl. Now tell me, where's Iris? Think you are a comedian, huh? Whoa! I'll ask again. Where's Iris? I, I don't know. Where's the box? What box? Quit playing dumb. If I hear one more lie coming out of your mouth, I'll pierce your eye with a needle. Now where's the box? It's in the yard. What was that? Speak up. In the red barn. The barn? Where exactly? It's in the big chest. The stranger sighs. Guess that means I'm getting wet again. You better pray that I find it. Listen, I don't know what. Quit skirming. Jesus. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I can give this a try, but I gotta be careful I don't break them. I only have three tries. Shit. What? Dumb bitch, I warned you. I don't understand how that works, I'm gonna be honest. What? I really don't understand how this works. Fucking weird. Nobody. He's in the barn. I don't want to kill. Oh, wait, poison? Can you get out or do you need to pick up the cycle? I can't beat him with my bare hands. This engagement requires a weight. Uh, yeah. So you really need the cycle in here. He must be out in the barn. 
in this case you need uh, the cycle. But I think the lockpick was a little bit weird to outwork. Like I thought when it was like hearing that uh, like that noise like click, you needed then to hold in that place, but probably not. He's got the gun. There's no way you'll miss from that distance. I need to sneak up on him and try to stay in the shadows when the lightning strikes. Who are you? Jack Smith, private security, Tom Winters, insurance agent, Sam Plymouth, partner of, the, of wealth. Who are you? Poor bastards that no tax on his clothes. There's something inside the pocket. A revolver with a full barrel. What, you gonna shoot me to come back? A cigar? Damn it, not another cigar. We ain't done yet, buddy. You and I are going for a little while. Probably she's gonna put again in the well to make company to Walter. Wait! Oh, you are awake. I thought you died already. I'm bleeding. What are you? Hold on a minute. Let me get up. Any last words? I said wait a minute, damn it. Wait, uh, want a needle in her eye, do you? What, no feeling so tough anymore? Beating up a woman in her home? Listen, I got nothing on you. Uh, I just need Iris. I told you he's dead and rotting in the well behind you. And you are going to keep him company. Now give me your name. Let me go. You don't want to be a murderer, do you? You don't know nothing about me, mister. Start talking or I'll put a bullet in your knees. Okay, sweetheart. Flatty won't get you anywhere. Okay, okay, just relax. Look at me. I'm not going anywhere. So, was it you who killed Chambers? Dang, my ears are ringing. Talk! Yeah, I killed that fuck, f fat fuck, but he had it coming. Why? He had dirt on you or something? Him, Wallace and your husband, they were all in cahoots, went and violated the Lindbergh law. You mean they kidnapped someone? What are you saying? They kidnapped a child and tortured it to death. You ever see the name Nancy Holson in the news? The oil baron's daughter? Of course I remember, it was printed everywhere. The ransom was paid, but the girl was never found. And she never will be. Well, she might in some field somewhere with her head cut off, that is. The family eventually learned Wallace was involved. Something to do with the union. So they hired me. You're lying. Wait, Wallace confessed everything to me before he croaked. Sold these little errand boys all the way down the river. It's right under your nose. The box. What's in it? I, I don't know for sure. A gift from daddy or something. For as I know, it ain't worth a fig. But your dummy of a husband, well, he decided to sell it, then shit hit the fan, and he got out of dodge, tried to cover his tracks, that's how I found him actually, alright then. Let's say you are telling the truth, you are cut from the same cloth, you and your big sack of money, how many people have you killed, where do you draw the line of revenge? Line of revenge. Hey, I only killed Chambers, Wallace died in the hospital. So let his hospital gone out of pure fear. And Iris, well, you say he ain't the problem anymore. Olsen lost his wife too, you know. He got nothing left but money and revenge now. A dangerous combination. So the manuscript, Margaret. What? Who? Listen, toots. Let me go. You can even keep the box if you want it. Harris is dead and so it's the fat ass chambers. My job's already done. I didn't have any intention of killing you. Bullshit. Okay, okay, but believe me when I say this. It wasn't personal, you were just in my way. Walter was a vulture. The world will the world will breathe a little easier without him in it. What will you do if you were little Nancy's father? You are a woman, a mother. You should understand. Just let me go. 
Nah, I'm gonna let him. Go on, get out of here. Tell your boss that Loretta Lou Iris did your job for you. And if I ever see you again, you won't. You have my word. Is it in here? There's something rotating over there. The box. Cattle burial ground, 5 meters east, 25 paces south of the old oak tree, 10 paces from the redstone. So he, he went he wanted this because it was where it was buried, right? Margaret, what are you? I follow you and that man. You left this in the kitchen. I don't wanna I don't know what are you thinking, but forget about the book. It belongs to me and Kelly, understand? Try anything fun, I'll make you pay for killing Walter. Your beloved Walt was a kidnapper and a murderer. You're lying. I'm not. Look. Yep. What? What does this mean? Little Nancy also. That's why he, he wanted. He bought this. Uh, this uh, house because it was where he buried Nancy Olsen. Walt and his pals wanted to shake a uh, handsome out of some rich guy, but obviously something went wrong. Who are you people? Put down the revolver, Margaret. What you care? You are used to seeing dead children, aren't you? Walter told me you, how you drowned his son. My son's death was my fault. Margaret, I think about it every day. Walter brought the disease into our home. I didn't have any evidence, but I knew. A mother always knows. Johnny got real sick. We were talking a bath when... We were taking a bath when... Well, the pills I was taking made me sleepy. I passed it out in the fucking tub. And when I woke up, it was too late. How do I know you are not lying? I don't know. But I do know this poor girl's father will want to know that father that what happened to his little girl. We should tell the sheriff. Wait. If we tell the sheriff and Walter is accused, they will lock me up, Margaret. I'll probably hang for this. And what's that got to do with anything? Think about Kelly. What will happen to her? The publisher will turn away. Refuse to publish the book. No, 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 no. Listen to me, Loretta. You and I will keep it all a secret. I'll shoot, Laura. Then do it, Margaret. End it. Here and now, on this goddamn graveyard. Shut up. Trust me, you don't want to have live with it. Shut up, for God's sake. I need to think. Smack her with a shovel, sis. Look at how her hands are shaking. She's just gonna miss anyway. She doesn't have it in her. You got the strike first. Damn you, Loretta. Why are you like this? Why you'll have to go and ruin everything? Everything! Okay, Margaret, you win. This has nothing to do with Kelly, you're right. I won't say anything to Bill. So that's it? We are done? I guess so. But since I didn't do anything off those head, it looks like I, I didn't strike her. Margaret didn't say a word to the police, I don't know why. Maybe she felt sorry for me. Maybe she refused to believe that Walter, her lover, Walter, was lying dead at the bottom of his parents' well. Maybe she knew she didn't have any evidence. It would be her word against mine, maybe. Not that it mattered anymore. The Polish house, we threw the check. Kelly and Mikey left and never came back. And now winter is here. Just a little further. Holy crap. So this what passed some years after that, is it? The booze. The voice have fallen silent for good. I was burning up. I don't remember this at moment the fever started. I lay in bed. The same bed Walt and I used to lay together. In a house that was cold and empty. I was all alone. In some feverish delirium, I ran through all my memories from the last few months. Or was it weeks? I didn't know what day it was. I barely even knew what time it was. Eventually my leg quit hurting. But the sweet, nauseating smell replaced the act. As if my body was rejecting my rotten, twisted soul. 
One more step. Is she looking to the poison? No. Because over here to walk you need to press uh, space. What day is it? Uh, you are probably never up, up, up updated the calendar. Hello, Walter. Got a lot of snow this year, huh? You know what's weird? Winter's supposed to be cold, but I never feel cold anymore. What were you thinking? You never told me. So, there was no way I could ever know. What drove you to crime? I thought I know I'm no better. You probably had it coming. Maybe even serve to die, but not like this. Not at the ends of your own life. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry it ended up this way. I, I was dreaming of a better life. But I never realized I was running hours in the process. Forgive me, Walter. Is that a light in there? The same story can be told in so many different ways. Living my life in fear made me lose my grip on reality. Something changed my soul forever a long time ago. Seems like every one of us is destined to face our own personal hell at some point. But when I tried to follow my path, while I was trying to tame the remnants of humanity I had left, I thought that maybe all I needed to do was stand still for a moment. Long dead and wet with a fresh coat of snow, the paint of the old barn doors, peeled off like a dry flakes of skin. Creaking in the in time with my disintegrated thoughts. So that was the barn that wasn't already the paint had to come off. So there we go. That's the end of it. Of course, <clears throat> you can have different ending depending on the choice that you do. Like I never did the red ones uh, because I knew that those ones were like uh, you know. The bad ones, if you want to say, it's like uh, try to kill, you know. So, if you do head ones in that part where it's Margaret with the gun pointed to you, probably you can smack her in the head with the shovel. But I tried to see what will happen like this. Like, she she got, went a little bit, you know, crazy, you know, in this uh, with these decisions. But overall, it was pretty cool. I'm trying to see uh, what happened, why. Uh, all of this happened, you know, the part of the of Walter and stuff like that. But it looks like all of those three uh, guys, uh, Wallace, Walter, and Chambers, uh, did that thing to that kidnapper that and tortured that kid, you know, Nancy Olson, and they tried to get uh, the money from it. So, oh, there's something else. So, is that it? Easy one from Carl. And Hoover and his boys come to dig around in my backyard. Where did this all come from? We are responding to a tip, Sheriff. Who? Who is the girl? Nancy Olsen. As in Olsen, the old tycoon, is the author? Whose land is this, Sheriff? The, uh, the, it's Morgan's now. Ah, speak of the devil. There he is. Sorry, Pops. No civilians past this point. Eat shit, Bill. I pay your salary with my tax. And this is my land. Now what in place is, doing, is going on here? Agent, I think you need to take a look at this. We found a Steve in the well. In the well? For Christ's sake. Sheriff, looks like we found your, your guy. It's the writer, Walter Iris. He used to live here with his wife. She just had her funeral this winter, gangrene. So apparently, I told you, Billy. Morgan, shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Laureate Iris sent a letter to Mr. Olsen. She confessed to killing her husband. I told him where the girl was buried. Walter Harris planned an orchestrated kidnapping of the Olsen's little girl. Morgan rubs his pockmarked face. Harris kidnapped Nancy. Then Loretta killed him and wrote a letter. To tell the truth, I'm a little lost. Every man has two forts wiring inside him, Carter. And you never know which one will win. So this is supposed to be like hell, right? That's what it looks like. Good evening, madam. How can I help you? Evening, I'm here for the party. I'm very sorry, Miss Harris, but the entry is by invitation only. It's a private party, you understand? But my husband's already inside. Walt is a member of our establishment, that's correct. But you probably have the wrong floor. I'm, I assume you are expected upstairs. Can I be frank? 
I don't know, can you? I think you, you'll be better off joining your son, madam. Unless, of course, you would rather I call for Mr. Harris. No, 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 don't bother yourself. So, I should go upstairs, huh? Perhaps you should. Have a lovely evening, Loretta. So, basically, instead of going to hell, we go to heaven. With our son. But like this, we learn everything, like why, what happened that they had two kids, one was miscarriage, the other one, like, she took some uh, pills and she slept on the bathtub and then the kid died in there. You know, you, you learn everything. It takes time to reach to there, but you get to see everything of what happened. So, there is 14 chapters. What about the endings? I only got one, but I don't know how you can move. Like, I, I got is the well that is like the winter, dying by the winter, and it looks like there is the, the cycle on that hat that looks like that uh, that guy. The other ones I cannot understand what the hell they are. The other ones I really can't understand. It looks like one is a car, looks like it's like leaving from that place. Or it could be with the that sheriff, who knows? The other two I can't understand. But of course, this depends on the choice that you that you do throughout the game. But uh, pretty cool game. I liked it. It was interesting to see the past of uh, of the characters and learn everything that Walter adds. Uh, something happening to. So, if you like what you saw, you can buy. It. And if you like this, point. It's not point and click because you don't point. You use A and D to move. Uh, but if you like this puzzle. Puzzle -ish. It's not that many puzzles, right? It's more like you you need to go to here, to there, and it's, it's more a choice game. You know, you need to make some choice to get different endings, you know, things like that. So, but if you like this type of games, you can buy it on Steam. It's already available. I don't know if it came. I think it came out on GOG too. So, but yeah, pretty cool. I like it. If you like this type of games, uh, you know, psychological horror, you know, things like that, you're probably gonna enjoy. It, so. Hope you guys enjoyed the playthrough of Loretta, and see you guys next time. Bye.